SWOT analysis is only useful when your site map is clear. In this tutorial, I will show you how to turn a complex city map into a clean professional site analysis drawing using my favorite rayon design. I will walk you through my complete workflow from importing and scaling the city map to styling it, defining the site and context and combining drawings, colors, photos and notes into one presentation ready layout. By the end, you will have a clean layout. You can use it for studio reviews, presentations or reports. So let's dive in. So first of all, you can download the PDF of your city map from any of these websites. I have already downloaded my city map as a PDF file. Now I'm going to open Rayon Design in my web browser. At the top, you will see the import option. You can import a DWG file, a PDF or an image. I have already created my project. As you can see here, I have added the sheet, the color palette and the images that are downloaded from the internet for my SWOT analysis. Now, I will go to the three lines on the left hand side, select import, then import my PDF file. It will ask for the format. I will select vector and then click import. And now, as you can see, here we have our city map. Next, it will ask for the distance or the scale. I'm going to choose scale and 1 as to 200 works perfectly fine for this one. Then, simply select a point on your drawing area and here you have your site map. You can see how detailed it is. All the city lines are clearly visible. If you want to scale it or make any adjustments, you can easily do that. And here I have my site for the school. Now I'm going to delete the extra lines around it. My site is L-shaped, so I will delete all the unnecessary lines around the site. If you already know the dimensions of your site, you can also scale it according to those dimensions. Rayon Design makes scaling very convenient. You can trim the lines you don't want. After that, if you look at the layer panel, you can see that I have created different layers for different elements. Here we have a separate layer for the PDF import. Now, this map is too large for my sheet. So, what I will do is go to the layers panel and make sure the PDF import layer is selected. Then, take the rectangular tool from the bottom toolbar and draw a rectangle like this on my sheet. I will move this rectangle and place it over my site map like this, making sure my main school site is centered inside the rectangle. Once I'm satisfied with the placement, I will select the rectangle, take the trim tool from the bottom toolbar, the shortcut is TR, and then start trimming all the extra lines outside the rectangle from all four of the sides. You need to be patient with this process because this is a large map and it takes time to refine it properly. But in Rayon Design, this becomes much easier because the processing is fast, it's clear and intuitive, and your system doesn't hang. Everything works smoothly inside the web browser, which honestly a wow factor. Once everything is trimmed, I will exit the trim tool and simply delete the rest of the lines. I have also attached the template drawing in the description box below so you can check it out and try creating this drawing yourself. Now, as you can see, I have refined my site. Next, I will again take the rectangular tool and create a rectangle closer to my site to highlight that area. I don't want to highlight the entire city. I want the full context to remain visible on the sheet but I want to emphasize the main city area near my site. So here I have created the rectangle. Now I will show you the magic part. I will select the highlighted rectangular area, copy paste it using Ctrl C and Ctrl V and paste it beside the site. Here you can see the copied portion of the main site. Now I will select the entire base map and from the properties panel, I will change its color to a lighter gray using the color picker. Then I will select the rectangle and give it a red color for now, just to clarify the highlighted side part. I will adjust the line weight and 
add dash line and also tweak the dash line scale from the properties panel. I will also add a fill to this rectangle. Next, I will select the highlighted part of the city, take the trim tool and trim all the extra lines again. You might be wondering why I am creating these two versions, but trust the process. You will see why this step is important. Using contrasting colors is very important in your architectural drawings. It makes your site analysis more readable, visually interesting and helps the viewer understand it clearly. Now that everything is trimmed, I will select the highlighted site and group it so I can edit it easier later. Then I will drag and place it back inside the main site. As you can see, everything is aligned perfectly. I will double click the group, select all the lines and from the right hand side properties panel, change the stroke color from gray to white. Now. You can see the contrast clearly. The highlighted side stands out beautifully. I will place everything properly on the sheet. Next, I will select the dotted rectangle and adjust the color fill. I don't want it too light or too dark, so I will choose a middle tone that works well. Then I will create another rectangle, add a light pink fill, reduce the opacity to 50 to 20% and remove the stroke. These graphical elements depends upon your personal aesthetic. This is just how I like to present my site analysis. Make sure you create multiple layers and organize them properly. I will then adjust the stroke scale and adjust spacing of the dotted rectangle until it looks perfect. Now, if you notice, the sitemap is overlapping the dotted rectangle. So I will fix the layer order from the layer panel and Place the dotted rectangle correctly above the site map. Once that's done, I will take the paint bucket tool from the bottom toolbar and start adding colors. I will highlight the main site, important buildings, the river flowing through the city, major roads and the railway lines if present. These elements are essential in site analysis, connectivity, landmarks, water bodies, green areas and so on. Next. I will create another layer for annotations. In the layer panel, click the plus icon to add a new layer. Then I will take the text tool and add north direction. From the properties panel, I can change the color, text height and the font. I will copy paste it to add north, south, east and west. After that, I will start adding images. Go to the three lines, select import and import images. I will add a zoomed in site image here, place it properly and add a heading line understanding the city. Then I will take the circle tool and highlight the main city again using the same dashed style for consistency. I will use the polyline tool to connect the zoomed in view and adjust its color and stroke if needed. These small graphical details make your site analysis much more engaging. Next. I will create a new layer and name it background. Right now, the sight lines make it hard to read the text. So I will move the background layer below everything else and create a grid as a graphical reference. These grids doesn't have to be perfectly to scale. I'm just using it as a visual guide. I will draw one straight line, select it and then use the array tool. The shortcut is AR and enter the count distance and angle. Here I have created 20 lines at 20 feet distance very quickly. I will repeat the same process for horizontal lines, delete any extra lines and adjust the color and stroke style to gray. Now I will use this grid to align my text, images and diagrams neatly. Aligned layouts look cleaner, more professional and easier to understand. Next, I will draw a rectangle, add a white fill, remove the stroke and place it behind my text so everything is clearly readable. I will resize it and as needed, I will place my SWOT analysis text, conceptual diagrams and images on the top. I will copy paste this white background to other sides of the sheet as well. 
you can adjust the opacity and experiment based on your preference. For images, you can download references from Google related to your site, main buildings, challenges like water management or energy and so on. You can also easily remove the backgrounds directly in Rayon Design and you can also use Rayon's AI image generation tool. Now, as you can see, my site analysis sheet is completed. Finally, I will go to the pages panel, create a new page, set the orientation and scale and make sure my site analysis is centered properly. Then. I will click on the three dots, select export, export it as a PDF, choose the quality and save it to my device. One more thing, you can also share your files online. At the top right corner, click share and give access to your teammates, colleagues or your professor as an editor, viewer or admin. You can also enable presentation mode, copy the link and open it like a presentation. So, this workflow helps you turn the complex site data into a professional and clean site analysis diagram. Whether you are a student or a professional, this method keeps your site analysis readable, visual and presentation ready. I am Kritika and I'll be coming up with more such tutorials very soon. So stay tuned because these tutorials are designed for you to level up your workflow and work smarter, not harder. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.